Hello everyone and welcome to Scale Car Models. I am Rick Arder and today I'll be taking a look at the 125th scale Revell 1966 Royal Pontiac GTO. This is part of the Motorsports series from Revell. It is a 125th scale kit. It was also released in 2013. And it's a scale level 2 so you're going to need paint and glue to assemble the model as per directions. Taking a look around the box, on the front you can see they have a really cool picture of the actual car here doing a burnout, getting ready to go down the drag strip, so that's kind of cool to see. And here you can see they have some information, a photo, and the paint guide. It's 114 parts, the kit is 8 and 1 quarter inches long, molded in white, you have water slide decals, chrome plated parts, vinyl tires, clear and translucent red parts. Here's some photos of the kit, and you also get a pre-painted Tiger, I believe, in this kit, which is pretty sweet. So, now let's open this up and see what comes inside. Upon opening the box, you see everything's nicely bagged up. They also have a piece of cardboard here to help everything uh, stay from getting crushed during shipping. And attached to that is the... Let's see if I can get it off here without destroying the box. Here's your pre-painted figure, which I'll show you in a second. It's a bag with all your white molded parts, vinyl tires on the parts tree, clear molded parts, and your chrome plated parts tree right here, as well as the instruction sheet, typical Ravel monogram fashion here. Take a look at the decals in a second. Have your paint guide as well as the part count, parts count. And then you have the exploded diagrams of all the parts here. And on the back you have the decal placement. So now what I'll do is take everything out, give you guys a close up look at all these parts. Start off, here's the pre-painted Tiger that comes included with the kit. And the detailing and painting is excellent. And it'll just fit in there and go along with the car if you'd like it to. If not, you don't have to include it. Excellent decal sheet. Make this car as correct as possible. Here's your clear parts. And I don't see any red molded parts unless they're in the white molded parts bag, so you might have to paint those. Here's your generic no name tires. I figured they would have had slicks on this car, but apparently not. They also include stock and the appropriate wheels. You can take a look at some of these other parts here. Excellent detailing. Chrome plating looks really, really nice. Looking at all the white molded parts that come in the kit, there are five parts trees total plus this nice GTO body here. And here are those red molded tail lights that I figured would be in this white molded parts tree bag. But overall, everything looks great small mold lines here there but they look like they did an excellent job on this all the parts look crisp and clean what you'd expect from these new Revell kits and this is pretty much just looks to be like a factory GTO there's a few variations here there but I'm sure you could make this into a factory GTO if you wanted to it's the engine there really nice chassis bit simplified, but overall, like you can see, I mean the detailing is really good. Some more engine parts. And they have the separate panels for the interior, which I think is really good because you can detail them up all nice. And one thing I'm really happy to see is no big sink marks here on in the interior, so you can build this up real nice. And if you really wanted to be crazy, you could cut the top off and make it a convertible. I think that'd be sweet. Because everything looks really nice. Here's your firewall and radiator assembly. So as you guys can see, it's a simplified setup here, but the parts do look really good. So very happy to see that. After taking a good look at the Royal 66 Pontiac GTO model kit from Ravel, I definitely recommend it. I think it looks to be a good builder. I like the theme of it. This was a pretty famous car back in the day. And they also include the Tiger which if this was just any other car it wouldn't make sense just having some random animal in there but this really goes along with the theme of the car being the GTO Tiger race car anyway so the details look great guys I definitely recommend you check it out I thank you all for watching and lots more videos to come